What's up, YouTube? My name is Lincoln Williams, and welcome back to another episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. About two nights ago, I intercepted a, you know, I intercepted dozens and dozens of re reviewers on Steam dot on Steam dot com that they could not get GTA 4 to run on Windows 10, and that is unfortunate. Here are a couple ways to get Windows XP games running on Windows 10 again. Basically, step one, download Windows client. Step two, sign in to Windows, uh, Windows Live, uh, you know, the marketplace and stuff like that with your Win uh, Windows Microsoft account. Basically, after installing the program, you're ready to, you're ready to, uh, you know, play uh, some of the XP games that you already know and love. Basically, um, you have to. Um, if there's any server issues or server, any server problems, you will, you will also have to do one extra step uh, to make them fully run again. Like, um, you know, like some auto launch uh, commands in uh, the Steam launcher, uh, like on the side on, of uh, your uh, gaming, uh, you know, thing. I'll put the link in the description down below so you can understand the fully processed, uh, you know, uh, you know all the steps to make your making your Windows XP games work on Windows 10. I'm actually kind of concerned about this. Why am I concerned about this? Because if I get a, because if I get a brand new laptop and if I buy a game, then if the game doesn't freaking work, then you know you just wasted twenty dollars. Our freaking game that doesn't work on Windows 10, basically. Yeah, and it's a bad and it's you know, it's a bad idea for you know XP gamers to go into Windows uh, to go into Windows 10 because they don't know officially what games are going to work and what games are not going to work. I talked to Christopher and many of his games, many of his XP games, they're not running well. Some of them, anyway. But um, uh, I will be fully looking into. I will be fully looking into deeper games for Windows XP on Windows 10, like The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Uh, I'll ask Christopher to launch that game second after he's launched Fallout 3 on his PC, so uh, that he can fix all the bugs that he needs to uh, when the game crashes on him. Basically, so um, if it, if the game crashes, that means you haven't installed Windows Client yet. So uh, just remember that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the big deal with is with Windows Client, but yeah, that's what you really need to install uh, Windows XP games on your PC game, uh, PC or laptop rig with Win Win Windows 10. Basically, just yeah, some of us just. Want to go back and experience our fully fledged old PC games and stuff like that. Like me, I want to go back and experience the Elder Scrolls V, Sky, Skyrim, Morrowind, not Oblivion, because Oblivion, eh, Oblivion, they were being kind of jerks to me in that game. <laughs> um, even though, you know, I was doing good, it was still being a jerk to me on the PS3 side of things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, anyways, YouTubers, uh, if you uh, need help uh, with uh, running your XP Windows XP games, download Windows Client, and maybe, just maybe, it'll run your XP games uh, again. So download Windows Client. Uh, so the first step that you actually really need to do with Windows Client uh, is... Um, maybe I mentioned this before, is uh, you sign in with your Windows, uh, Win Windows uh, Microsoft account, download the link, and install. That's all you need to do, um, and stuff like that. So, and boom, then you're running again. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm really concerned about this when I get my new laptop, is some games will not work, so that's why they have to have a little bit of extra steps to make the games fully work on, uh, you know, the PC on the PC or laptop that you are using half of the time. So, um, yeah. 
So yeah, I'm actually kind of concerned about this. So yeah, it's a really big deal for PC gamers like me to get a brand new laptop, uh, a brand new rig, and a brand new graphics card. And if the graphics card can't pull it off, then, you know, yeah, the game doesn't really work for Windows 10. And that really sucks for most of us. So when you download Windows Client, you, you have to cross your fingers that the game will run on Windows X, on Windows 10, basically. So that's all we can hope for, for the future of gaming on Windows 10. So, anyways, have a fantastic day, YouTubers, and I'll see you guys all later in the next Lincoln Williams Show episode. I'll, uh, and have a fantastic day, YouTubers, and I'll see you guys all later.